Hi, so today we are looking at um, phytoperiodism and phytoperiodism is associated with um, plant flowering. So plants don't just flower the whole year through, they will only flower when the environmental conditions are optimal. And what that means um, is that they're most likely to uh, create seeds or offspring. So optimal environmental conditions for um, plant reproduction, one of the biggest ones is whether their pollinators are around or not. Um, most common pollinators are honeybees. In New Zealand, we have a lot of moths that pollinate and sometimes uh, lizards that pollinate, birds that pollinate. So that's moving the pollen from one flower to another flower. Remember that pollen is a gamete, it's the plant sperm. So it needs to be transferred to the stigma of the same species of flower to create offspring. So plants just don't want to flower the whole year because that's a whole heap of energy, right? So they only want to flower when they know that their pollinator is around. So how do they know when their pollinator is around? They do that by judging the day length. So in winter time, the days are short, so the amount of light is short and the amount of darkness is long. During summertime, it's the opposite, where the amount of light during a day is long and the amount of darkness is short. So I've done my keynotes here. So um, here's a nice little um, easy achieved sort of question, which would be define photoperiodism. And that is um, photoperiodism is date length. Okay, how does the plant do it? So the plant synchronizes its flowering to the optimal day length using something called phytochrome. So phytochrome is a light sensing pigment or protein. You find it in the leaves and it comes in two forms. Um, it comes in PR and another form, which is PFR. Now, the amount of PFR in the leaves determines whether florigen, which is a hormone, is created. So flowering begins. Flowering won't start until florigen. You know how hormones tell the body to do stuff? Florigen tells the plant to start to create flowers. Okay, how does it work? Short day flowering plants, so these are planties that flower during winter time. They will only flower when there are low concentrations of PFR in the leaves. That will stimulate the florigen for them. And with long day plants, they will only flower if there is a high concentration of PFR in the leaves. So what determines the concentration? This little mechanism here and the steps of this mechanism uh, are in, it's in your booklet, okay? But what I've done is I've taken the steps, which you should know by off by heart by the end of the year, and I've put them into a diagram. Okay, so this is inside the leaf. First of all, we get light, red light from the sun shining onto the leaf. So there is always PR in the leaf. So the red light, this is during the day, will shine on, hit the PR proteins. And then those PR proteins will whoop, transform into PFR. So this is a process that only happens during the day. It's quite a fast process. So uh, pew, 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 it's happening all the time, yeah? So by the end of the day, by the end of the light, there's actually a whole heap of PFR just sitting there in the leaves and not much PR because it's all been transferred over. At night time, the PFR gets converted back to PR. This takes ages compared to um, PR going to PFR, PFR going to PR takes a long time. Okay, so when the night is really long, so at winter time, there's heaps of time for all of the PFR molecules to be transferred back into PR, yeah? So at the beginning of the daylight, there's very low levels of PFR because it's already trans been transferred back. So if it's low levels of PFR, our short day plants are gonna flower because the night is long. And I'll move it up here. Okay, the opposite. When the nighttime is short, so during summertime, 
there's not enough time for all of the PFR to be transferred to PR, yeah? So at daybreak, it means, oh no, there's a whole heap of PFR still hanging around. So, uh, so there are high concentrations of PFR, therefore the long day planters sort of down, yeah? Um, because they need the high concentrations of it. So that's how the plant determines um, how much light is happening during the day and therefore it determines whether it's the right time for it to put the energy in to produce flowers because some pollinators will be around during winter time and other pollinators will only be around during summer time. Plus they've all got to synchronize flowering at the same time right because you need the pollen from one flower to be moved to the pollen of the other flower. So both plants of the same species have to flower at the same time, otherwise uh, reproduction won't happen. And, um, and they won't make any seeds, therefore they won't have any babies. Okay, so that is photoperiodism.